This video is brought to you by Bite. Thank you. Warning, if you the emotional type, this is not the channel for you, cuz. I was young and dumb at the time. <laughs> Bet y'all thought y'all weren't gonna see story time anytime soon, huh? The story time came to mind after talking to my boy Paper. What car you say you was in again? I'm in a yep. Honda. Couldn't find that anywhere. Well, so I thought. Yep. Catfish by Fat Chick Part 2 starts now. For all the people that be like, yo, where y'all been at, cuz? We actually been over on Twitch, man. The link is in the description. We also got a whole gaming channel. We got Yo Rage, Dante, JoJo Crack, Poise. We got a lot of people over there. Make sure y'all subscribe to the second gaming channel. Link is in the description. Did I do good? Yeah. Good. <sighs> I love that. I had to crack my knuckles for this one. God, bro. Been a minute. Right. Y'all got a new story time. Story time number 30. Catfish by a Fat Chick Part 2. Bro, this is the girl from the Kick Chat. <sighs> yeah, so y'all remember the girl from the first Catfish? She wasn't the only one. And the craziest part about this one is that the people who featured it in this episode are actually the people who were there. Please note that all my videos, my story times are authentic. The only thing I normally make up are the names. But I don't really need to because these two have given me their permission. The girl Alexis will be played by my girl Asia to London. I'll be putting her Twitch link in the description, you heard? My boy Paper, this is my best friend. He will be playing as himself, cuz. And Jordy, y'all already know who Jordy is. Like she was the impact. Oh my, can't wait to tell y'all this one, bro. But the links to all of that stuff and all that whatnot will be in the description. Make sure y'all give them a sub. It was 2016. Hold on, hold on real quick. Before we get started, I need to go through the background story so y'all understand. We had an Instagram. It's still up. It's called Kings of Handsome. This Instagram was made in the form of a shout out page. So we needed to use male promos to promote for females. And we needed to use females to promote for males. Everybody shouted each other out. Whoop -de whoop. That's how the page grew. And this is me back before YouTube fucked my life up. I'll be back to that soon. But we used an app called Kick. Y'all know nothing about that. But we actually used this app called Kick. And it was like the form of text messaging. We had a bunch of group messages. We did shout out games. So of course you can go ahead and gain a lot of followers from females if you're a male and the male if you're female you get will get the point it was a big old hotline look at it as tinder of instagram now after you use the male or female promo to promote the page we go ahead and took a picture of you and we posted it on instagram on the page so you can get attention from the opposite sex you get the point then y'all can go ahead and hop in each other's dms and finish that off anyway here's one of the promos that i found in my email from 2015 which was the year that the page was actually started but my boy paper let me explain that he's probably the first psychotic nigga that i met in my life okay I remember this night like it was yesterday. One day I was laying on my bed, minding my business, right? And then paper called me on Skype. This is when Skype was actually popular. Yo, what's good with you, bro? Oh, shit. Craziest part about him, now he always had a permanent high voice, but he didn't smoke weed. Where you been at, bro? I've been hearing your phone up all day. I called the one inside when his hands were ashy. Shut up, you getting on GTA tonight? Please note, I'm only speaking on the situation because he's already served his time. But this is what made him crazy. Hey, hold on right quick, Rio. I'm sorry, the fuck one. This is when that was created. Yep. What the hell is going on? Exactly what happened. Hello. Yep. Called his name over and over again. I'm gonna call you back real quick, bro. I'm sorry to fuck. What? Hello? What the hell? So after this year, it was about a couple years since, you know, the police called out with him that I spoke to him. But I don't think he thought that I was not going to reach out to him. You don't just wake up and say, I don't want to play GTA today. I'm about to live this shit. And that's not how life works, cuz. He got that phone call. I think I had the nerve to answer the phone on a sunny day like, what's up, hey, what's up my ass? Yo, come no, on, yo. no, 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 no. Like so you chose the gang bang on Wednesdays now, nigga? My issue wasn't the fact he didn't want to tell me what was going on. It was the fact that he just randomly chose me as an accessory of potential murder. Yo, I said we're not going to talk about it. Oh, so you super nigga now. Okay. Sir, Yo, sir, I'm just trying to sir, hit you up. sir, just sir, on you. like I hear what you're you saying. Doing? I hear it. what you're saying, but you going to act like what happened yesterday didn't happen. Yo, let it After go talking about this part, I really don't know why we've been friends for over 12 years. But I'm going to talk about the sponsor, though. This video was sponsored by Bite. Let me show y'all something. This was my janky teeth. Okay. Now, so far, my teeth are right here, but this is where my teeth destined to be at the end. 
thanks to Bite, they were able to straighten my smile and whiten my teeth whiter than they've ever been. Right now, they are 75% off. $19.95 to get your impression kit. The link will be in the description. Using the link below, it will automatically be applied or use Petty Gang at checkout. So, you already know the story of how the page was set up, what we had to do, and all of that jazz. So, at night, we would have an exotic version of the chat where guys and girls would come together and be all kinds of nasty. Now, I met this girl named Alexis. Not that I remember her real name anyway, but we would get the girls to be nasty. Now, how did we get the girls to do that? That's where Jordy came into play. Jordy was the person who would write things in the chat to coerce the girls to make them feel comfortable, make them understand that nothing leaves this chat except this dick, that no photos will be shared outside of the chat, etc., etc., etc. Blah blah blah. But for me, being in my thought phase, this was like where thoughts meet.com to me, bro. I was meeting different women, all bro. Long story short, me and her wound up talking a lot, right? We was talking on a regular basis. You know when you talk a lot when you don't have the energy to sit still anymore. You using all your yo, you walking on random furniture, bro. Like I was clumsy, but you know, we're not gonna talk about me. Yeah, I was clumsy. But what I'm saying is like the point was we was actually having a good conversation, and one day she finally said she wants to meet up. She was a cook and she was leaving on her break from her job. So I put on some extra sweatpants. I just finished running, so I had to hurry up and go, you know, scrub the nuts real quick. You know, I wound up running down. It just got started raining. I just left Sac State, so I am on my way down to the gas station right where she was going to um, meet me at i only have 24 minutes left so let me know if you're still coming yeah i'm on my way all right well boy hurry up you must be there already about another 15 minutes after that i was pretty much at the gas station oh, come on, love. but i did not expect what happened oh. next to her when i hit that gas station i did not see her what car you said you was in again i'm in the white Honda. please note uh, i did see the car the problem was that ain't who I thought would be in it. Boy, I know you see me. Ladies, let me teach you something. When a man says, that's crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. He lying. Okay? He's lying. And whose fault was that? <sighs> yep. We ran into another catfish. Now, my problem again, just like part one, is that I don't have a problem with big women. My problem is... When they make it look as if they're not. Now, the niggas over at NASA need to pick this woman up, bro, because her photo and video editing is out of this world. She's a different Now, breed. she had more weight. That was expected, to be honest. But her chin, I'm going to tell y'all about that later. It's raining. Let's get in the car. I'm sorry, the fuck what? I don't want to get sick. Oh, 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 I've also forgot, bro. The other thing that I hate when women catfish me or some is when you try to catfish me and then try to have a conversation as if you don't know what you did. That's like me shooting somebody in front of you and be like, what you want for lunch? Come on. Got in the car just like that. Just just like like this is just a normal situation that we in right now. How do we get him? Just of course I was mad. Can y'all blame me? Like, keep it a band, bro. Keep it a band. So I get in the car, and yes, there's a little bit of awkward silence at first. So what's up? Did you finish your run like you wanted? This woman trying to have a normal conversation like nothing going on. And y'all wonder why I mean. Ain't want to give me no hug? Now, physically, she was a little bit more thicker, but that wasn't my problem. Don't you know that get in my belly, dude, from Austin Powers? That's what her face looked like. But worse, I'm going to explain later. You don't want to hug me? No. Boy, what is wrong with you? Everybody who knows you person know I hate when you play dumb. So I said, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. You don't look shit like your pictures and videos. Wow. Yep, that cut and dry. You could have just kept it a being with me, huh? Again, wasn't being no woman hater or nothing like that. All right, holla. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so again, just to do the rough draft. Her pictures and videos, she looks smaller. She did gain weight, which is cool. I have nothing wrong with it. The more meat, the better. I'm not tripping over thick girls. But the problem was the chin area, bro. When I tell you her chin, like to get in my belly, dude, she looked like that, but worse. So she had on a dress shirt top and the sh her chin was hanging under the chin, uh, under the shirt. The fact that you could fit your chin under your shirt, I don't, I don't think I can work with that, bro. You think it was over? <laughs> no actually it's pretty much halfway over i had exams so i really wasn't paying attention to the instagram page until i got this phone call this day pretty much changed the tide of everything about this story what's good with you pat pat ain't nothing chilling chilling yo you should have been in the late night kick chat bro oh them girls must have looked good tonight. Yo, yo that girl that you was talking to 
She mm -hmm. came in the chat last night and she was talking crazy. She said, you don't look nothing like you look on your videos. I mean, what the fuck? What are you planning for? Winston, we're not doing that. Yo, let me be the bank robber. Don't, 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 don't commentary on what's going on right now. Just let me do what I do. Let me, let me do what I do.